is uh, Wigilia Florida. Uh, there's quite a few Wigilias. There's Florida Variegata, there's Folis purpuris, a lot of them. And in order to prune this particular plant, you've again got to look where the flowers are. And you can see here, here's the old flower seed cases. So on this plant, it's telling you that it flowers on the previous season's growth. And when you have shrubs that flower on the previous season's growth, what you've got to do is remove a third of the oldest wood. Uh, so take a good look at the plant, read the plant, and see where the nice new shoots are coming and see which are the oldest ones. And you're just going to take out a portion of them so you get plenty of air and circulation through the bush so that then there's less chance of pests and diseases, you get better leaves and you get better flowers. So looking at this, uh, I can see on this one, that we've got some kind of older woodier material here which has flowered and some of it's spindly so we can cut out certainly some of this spindly growth to start off with so that's not going to do anything take that off here's another old woody piece here we're going to cut that off and another couple of pieces which are just going to bend down not going to do anything much here's one that's flowered and again it's quite a spindly one another spindly one and now we're starting to look and see where the third of our oldest wood is and looking at this i would just remove a portion you can see there's some here that have flowered and is a bit older and a bit woodier so we'll take out that one And then we'll have a look at it. I can see that there's another plant in the back there which shouldn't be there. It shot up. It's actually a Euonymus elatus, which is actually quite nice. So I think I might try and get that one dug out because it's a nice plant. Uh, but looking at this, I'm just going to take out a couple of these just to make sure that there's two here growing very close together. One of them has already flowered. So we'll just take that one off. And then do that to one side. And there's an older, woodier one here, which I'll take off. Take that one. Okay, one more, and then we'll just take out the rest of the spindly ones. In fact, there's one going out the back here, we're away from the plant. So I'm going to take that one out as well. So there's my portion taken out. I've also got a plant that, as I say, shouldn't be growing in here. So we'll take this out on this side. Take that. Remove that. Remove this bit here. There we go. And then there's one plant growing into it from over the other side, so we need to remove that which is growing in. There's a lot of growth here, and they're sort of jamming in together. So again, we're going to take out that to open up this side of the plant, and the one bite. And it's starting to open up now, and you've got some shape. Okay, there we go. Just got a couple to take out in the middle, some quite thin ones. There we are. We've got a couple of those thin ones, and what we've done is we've opened the plant up quite a bit there. So we're getting a good throughput of air into the plant. So that opens it up. There's one to the side of this, which we just gotta be careful that they're not growing into each other. And as they, if they are, then we need to prune it back just so that each plant is individual. So that's what you want. A couple of spindlies over here, which we'll take off. 
Okay, but you're beginning now. This one's an older one, which I'll prune off. There we go. So now we've just got a few, a few thin ones at the base, just to tidy this up a little bit. There's quite a lot of material all jamming in together, so it's going to simplify that a little bit. There's one growing out to the left again. Keep the plants all nice together, and then one or two little tiny bits down here. And now your plant is beginning to get a nice shape to it. Lots of nice circulation. Got a little bit here to take this one out. Take it off with the loppers a little bit closer. A little bit of a crossing branch there, which again, that one's just falling out, so that's coming out. And then you've got your shape. You can see there you've got quite a nice shape to your plant, and you've got nice and open, and that'll be a lot healthier for the plant.